Now look how beautiful this is. And it tastes even better. Hello, I am Chibu Bless and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm wishing you peace, purpose, and prosperity. For today's video, we're going to be cooking Southern Banana Pudding. I don't know where y'all from, but growing up, I always had baked banana pudding. You heard me right, baked banana pudding. So for the ingredients, we want to need vanilla wafers, bananas, some sugar, flour, vanilla extract, a little tad bit of salt. We're also going to need evaporated milk, a little bit of butter, eggs, and the pan that I'm gonna use is gonna be this clear Pyrex bowl. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Just an FYI, all of the ingredients list will be in the description below, so make sure you check that out if you have any questions. I'm gonna start by cracking my six eggs and I'm going to separate the yolk. And how you separate it is you just go back and forth until you got all of the cream in one bowl and put the yellow in the other. Then again, we're gonna do that five more times. So now I'm going to whisk the yolk eggs. I'm going to go ahead and add my carnation milk. And now we're gonna go in with our vanilla extract. The next ingredient is going to be a pinch of salt. Then now I'm gonna add in my sugar. And now I'm gonna add in my flour. So now that we have the mix all nice and blended, I am going to put this on the stove and add in the butter. So I just use this butter and I'm gonna use a nice amount on a spoon and put that on medium heat. And then this is the mix that we made earlier. So I'm just gonna pour that in there. While we're waiting for our mixture to thicken, I'm going to go ahead and cut the banana up. So now we're going to layer the cookies in the pan. I also like to have cookies around the edges. So now we'll do a layer of bananas. Now I'm gonna do another layer of cookies. We're gonna do the last layer of bananas. Once again, the top layer is going to be the cookies. So now this is what it's looked like after it's done being layered. The mixture that we put on the stove is almost to the consistency that we need. So I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to let it sit there so that it can thicken. In the meantime, we're going to go to the remaining of our egg and we are going to use our hand mixer until it gets very fluffy.
So I like the consistency of this and I'm going to put pour it on top of our cookies and bananas. And now I'm gonna let this bake for about three minutes. Now that we have removed the banana pudding from the oven, I'm going to place the filling on top. So now I'm going to place this back in the oven. So this is the finished product. I did broil it on 550 at the end just so it can get golden brown. And look how beautiful this is. 